I'm Mike Engelhardt. I want to show you how to include C++ and Verilog in a QSpice simulation. First thing to do is draw a box to contain the code. Let me get rid of this. Right click, draw hierarchical entry, and there's our box. Now, um, we need to change this. Normally, when you draw hierarchical entry, this box is another schematic, but we don't want that. We want this box to represent a DLL. So we right click, show symbol properties, symbol type. If it's blank, it's, expects it, it's gonna be another schematic, but you wanna change it into O slash for a DLL. And now this is gonna be a DLL. We make, have to the, make the name a, um, a legal C function name untitled is legal. Now right click C++ interface, open C++ source. It says there is no such file. Do you want to create a template? Yes. Oh, we didn't declare any inputs. Are you sure this is what you want to do? No, I need to put some inputs, right click, add port. That'll be in. We will make this uh, change the justification so it looks a little nicer. Port type will be input. Data type will be float. And control C, control V, control E for mirror. Put it over there. This will be the out. There's the output, port type, output. And now we will right click C plus open C source. Okay, says this, uh, this file doesn't exist. You wanna make one? Yes. These, are, these check boxes are for slightly more advanced features. We won't get into those right now. So you say, okay, just give me the C source code. And this template now tells you where to implement the module. You just type in what you want the module to do here. I want the output to equal the input times the input. Okay, that's what I want it to do. Right click, compile. There's an error because it expected a, um, a semicolon. Double click on this and it will go to the line that caused the error. All right, now it should compile. Right click, compile. Under here, it says untitled.dll created successfully. All we need now is a test vector. There's the input and there's the output squared. That is how easy it is to include C++ in your QSpice simulations. All right, now let's do Verilog. I'll first just copy this block over as a starting point. Uh, I have to give it a different name because this will be the name of the DLL. It again has to be legal Verilog name and a C++ name it has to be both. I'll give it the same test vector. And now right click Verilog interface, open Verilog source. Couldn't find the file. Do you want to make one? Yes. And so this is the template for making Verilog source. And we'll make the output equal to the input times the input times the input. We um, Verilog, you have to make this as an assigned statement. And now compile. It made the DLL. Let's rerun the simulation. And now this is the output cubed and that's the output squared. That's how easy it is to include C++ and Verilog in your simulation. Now there's some examples that will flush this out more. Let's get into that. Uh, if you go to file, open demo, there's an important example there 
called Practical Switch Mode Power Supply. And this is done as a hierarchical entry. Right click, enter schematic. That's the model of this thing. This block here, though, is done is written in C++. You can right click, C++ interface, open C source. And here's a, a, a bigger example that gives you more, um, more coding techniques you can look at to see how to make a practical, um, practical model. And you see this thing runs exceedingly quick. Basically, the whole point of being able to include C++ is that you can include a truly massive amount of digital logic, and it has only a negligible impact on the simulation speed. That's the point to be able to use C++ and Verilog. I hope you found that useful. Thank you.